My name's Tracy Stewart, a Year 5 teacher at Ripple Primary School, and this is my lesson on problem solving. When we do word problems, we always say we can do the calculations, but we have trouble working out what calculation we're going to do. So what we're going to do today is to look at all of the words, all of the vocabulary that you know, to work out which ones give us a clue for which calculation we're going to do. So I've got a problem that I'm going to put up on the board. And we're going to have a think about what calculation I would do for it. I start with the opening problems about putting um, sweets into bags. And just without any help, ask the children to write down what calculation. And um, I always find that lots of the children just look straight away for the numbers and write down a calculation. So we had adding the two numbers together, multiplying them together. And then we sort of look at why those calculations wouldn't give you the answer to the problem. Why would 372 times 6 not be the right calculation? What would you actually be doing there, Mandave? You have to divide it. Right, why do you have to... Why does times in by 6 not make any sense? Because what would you be multiplying? Because you're making groups of 6. Right, so we're putting it into groups of 6, which is why it's divide. OK, so what we're going to concentrate on today is which words in this problem told us that it needed to be a division problem, a division calculation? The main part of the lesson, uh, the children have uh, four A3 pieces of paper with the four number operations written on them and a lot of uh, vocabulary on cards. And they have to sort with their group, discuss with, uh, with each other and sort the vocabulary cards into which of the four operations they would indicate they needed to do if they found those phrases in the question. Um, divisible by... Um, that's division. I planned this lesson about the vocabulary of problem solving because I always find that the children can work with the calculations and solve them but when they're put into a context in a word problem they very often create a calculation with the numbers without thinking about what the problem is actually asking them to do. So I wanted them to look at the vocabulary and look for the clues that tell them which operation to do for the calculation. I included um, a whole range of vocabulary uh, for the children to sort into the groups. Um, some of them were very simple, like multiply, divide, uh, but there were lots in there that would um, generate quite a bit of discussion. It wasn't automatically clear which one they would go with. What have we got next? Group in threes. You could imagine this being in a calculation about having sweets again, and you've got to put them into groups of three. So group these sweets into threes. Where's that going to go? It's a divide one again, isn't it? After the children had finished sorting the vocabulary cards, I got some of them to come to the front with their sheets to share their ideas about where they put each of the bits of vocabulary. It's just a way of opening the discussion out to the whole class and getting the other pupils to question whether they put theirs in the same place and whether they needed to move them. So these are all words that if they were in a word problem, we think we might use a multiplication calculation. So can you read them out, Monica? Times multiplied by... 10 times as big, groups of, 4 times, multiply, product, double, repeated addition. I'm going to ask you about a couple of them, Monica. Why did you put double onto the multiplication one? Um, because um, double is like, um, when you times by 2, um, you can double 2 by... Like right, so you do a double by multiplying. That's one way of doing a double. Good girl, well done. The final part of the lesson, I gave each group a calculation and they had to use the vocabulary that they'd been sorting to write a problem to match that calculation. I want you guys to do this one. Do this one. That's not going to work, is it? Because you I got the children to write their own problems to match the calculations as a way of just turning it round to get them to see how the vocabulary they choose in the question influences what the calculation would be. So what we're going to do to finish up is I'm going to put each group's word problem and calculation on the board and we're going to see if we can find the words in the question that tell you which operation you're meant to be doing for the calculation. So read out your problem. I have 64 stickers. My mum buys me a pack of 72 stickers. How many have do I have in total? So which words in that question tell us, Ariba, that it's to do with an addition calculation that we'll need to do? Total. Total. Good girl. Well done. Total. 
I think it would be helpful for other teachers to use this lesson because year on year I always find the biggest barrier to problem solving for the pupils is understanding the vocabulary. So by working on interpreting that vocabulary into a calculation they should be able to be a bit more successful.